It's cleaver time! Prepare for battle. Mm. Yeah. I think Legion Banner should be. It's not the shortest cooldown, granted, but he does have, of course, the, the plus of having a magic stick up against the Bat Rider, so you can't regen. You will have the mana to continue. Curious if he's going to go for the moment of courage, uh, like how he's going to level it. If he's going to go for max level press the attack, is he going to go for max level moment of courage? Are we going to get to see the blade mill or maybe even the blink dagger rush? Honestly, it wouldn't be a bad game. It would be a pretty good game for blink dagger rush because there are so many very easy kills to be made, especially if red on that Nate's Prophet TP's in. get to see Yamate on the tiny and Dreamer Cell on the Bloodseeker, the two substitutes coming the in. Begins. There's going to be uh, a little bit of a check for the runes. Ice Shards block, Yamate is stuck. The Ice Shards actually are keeping him alive right now. But for how long is the question? Not for long enough. Who's going to be able to secure first blood? Actually, Mamung Dial levels overwhelming odds. First blood. The twin shall not thirst for long. I mean... Nice try! Uh-oh. -uh. Well, uh... Yeah, it, it, it was just weird, because Mamung Daya leveled overwhelming odds the moment that uh, Tiny was at, like, 50 HP. So I was thinking, oh, he's gonna just overwhelming odds to get that kill, but... Nope. He decided to just, as you uh, said, keep it to try and secure the range creep. And he's actually doing a really good job right now. Doesn't even have press the attack level just yet, but uh, as right clicks go, he is way superior over a bat rider who has 43 base auto attack damage. Miracle. A lot of damage coming out. Yeah, but if you got the uh, tag team coming in later from the Tusk, it's going to be a bit more problematic. Also, you have to be very careful on the Monkey King this game because they do have, uh, of course, the uh, the Nature's Prophet tree cutting ability that will tends to hurt the Monkey King more often than not. Please. Mm -mm. is uh, doing a very good job towards mid at the moment. And Yamate going for the creep lane pull. Again, once Streamer Cell hits level 6, Seal needs to get out of that lane. Travens is also uh, harassing nicely. So... Obviously, we've only had that first blood work, but where do you think most of the uh, remaining action will come through?
Yeah. Yamate's got nothing. Oh my god, this is so horrible. <laughs> Look at the lane positioning. It's just weird what, why this is even a possibility. Oh, top lane going in onto Miracle. A lot of damage with the tag team coming through. Snowball to damage them both. Miracle, it, that's a painful boundless strike. Can he stay alive? It was maybe not enough. Nice dodge! And he actually stays alive. That's huge. We had some slight technical difficulties that's why uh, we were silent for a little bit but we are back top lane uh, miracle just barely managing to survive that engagement but uh, all things considered it is uh, still a pretty even affair right now mid lane is going pretty well from among Daya, but once uh Silurn gets himself level six actually he's burning among Daya right now but dp coming through with the snowball Good catch with the tag team. I sure is block and the blast comes in. Mamangai gets right. the kill secured. And that is a huge move from Dalol. Make sure that Mamang uh, stays alive in mid and even finds the counter kill on the bat rider. Let's see, what is a Red's plan of attack this game? Do you think it's going to be a Gleitnir game or an Ags game? still has two more leaps so should be fine <laughs> jump in mamang boundless strike he's not gonna die and miracle's now gonna be in trouble pay for this <laughs> now you're that is pretty disastrous mamang die still has not fallen he's going for the blade mill first item uh, at the very least, they keep the tier 1 tower towards mid alive, but it it's just way too costly. They lost 3 in the process. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower. Well, uh, let's attack. see. Dream of Cell, he's going to go for the Maelstrom. Probably going to get himself a PKB afterwards so that he can go for the early fight. They only have Lasso that pierces BKP so far. Are there any good stacks? Nope, not really. The Bat Rider can't catch up significantly because there have. Ah, okay. Yeah, but it ain't no ancient, so it's gonna take uh, still quite a bit of time. Uh, he wants to go in onto the bat rider, but this is all a bait coming in, and yeah, he needs to run away. His firefly has just recently been used. Mamangai is a little bit too far to get the duel going. Radiant's top Can he stay alive? Dyer's middle. Mamangai does not care whatsoever. The chase forever. He's almost in the Radiant's base, going for the TP. Oh, still the fight is going to be successful. At the very least, he dragged three heroes away for quite some time, but is still going to falter. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant. 
Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Well, there is also a Radiant defense coming in with the Lil and Dreamer Cell in the vicinity. You have Rupture available on the Bloodseeker. Zeal drops the wall. He needs uh, some help. There's a great bounce strike coming out onto the two. Snowball save comes in. Can they get away? No, they cannot. The Lil is going to get taken down. Bloodseeker still looking for blood here. He sees Dyer's Zeal, of course, with the invis attack. detection. Well, with the detection in general. Luckily enough, there's no Nate's Prophet ulti. And Mamunga yes. is nearby, so they Dyer's definitely are looking to roam attack. and possibly get a kill in the area. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. He's staying alive right now. They find the kill onto the tiny. It's just a little snow. That's another kill coming in for Spawn. They use that uh, silence uh, pretty much Dyer's as perfect top bait top in that situation. Top lane, Miracle. They're chasing it on towards red. Silurn uh, is nearby, even has the pushback. And that is going to be the Nature's Prophet caught out. Red the will force. be an easy pickup What's for Miracle. Who's going for the Battle Fury build? Obviously, Dyer's against the Nature's Prophet, you always need a Quelling Blade. Dyer's middle tower has been denied. Radiant's top tower is under attack. And it's not like uh, Spawn have necessarily the best damage lineup. Uh, uh... They, they have pretty decent damage, but most of them really rely on items later down the line. Red's going for the Maelstrom, uh, Dreamer Cell's going for the Maelstrom, and Mamangda is going for the Blade Mill, so he's not going to have that blink initiation that his team uh, tends to love to have at this point in the game for the immediate quick execution of one of the enemies. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Detour. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Oh, he's gonna get silent regardless, and the damage is... Honestly, they didn't even need the Nate's Prophet there. <laughs> Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Well, they will look for the tier 1 tower towards bottom. Yamate. It's gonna take a while until the tiny has his blink. Once he gets the blink, though, there are some Radiant's pretty good targets in this game until BKBs get secured. Uh, for instance, the Silencer should be an easy pickup, and uh, most of the time, the, the Nature's Prophet should also be a quick kill, considering he is going to be building into a more aggressive Gleipnir. Excellent. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Uh, he spots it. Yeah, and also, he, he spotted the dust with the, the sticky. Nice, Ava. Arrow. Hello. Silence ulti. Can he get away? He's actually trying to go back in to get the kill. He's sacrificing his life there. And NWP does get taken down. Travens is actually the one that gets the kill, surprisingly enough. Mangdaya needs to run away. He does have himself a press the attack. We'll be able to get out. And with the rotation from Dreamer Cell coming through, Zeal's trying to get the TP to safety. Can he get the TP away? Yes, he can. Miracle gets out of there as well. And they only lose a one-for-one -one trade, which honestly... Not too shabby for spawn. It did cost them their global, which is the only downside that they have, but that could have been so much worse considering their positions. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack.
Yeah, uh, Yamate really needs that bling dagger. It's not going to take too long. He's gotten some decent funds in the meantime. But also can't really be AFK farming to secure it in the meantime either. Which is the big downside of playing a tiny this game. You need to be active, but you also need to get your blink dagger at the same time. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Coin for me. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. All three tier one towers have been secured now by spawn, so that's uh, opening up the map significantly. Especially the mid one gives the chance uh, for a possible roast later down the line with tag team. Uh, spawn have a pretty decent roast lineup. Myth Avenue Gaming actually have a really bad roast lineup. Gets secured by Zeal. Link's getting closer. Bot's a pretty nice tool. Bungdaya is uh, he's also getting close to the Blink Dagger. So you're gonna have Blink Daggers on both sides coming up soon. Tusk is uh, like uh, three heroes at the same time almost have Blink Dagger. And uh, C-Learn has himself enough money to buy it, but I guess he's gonna save up for the BKB instead. Even though it's not, it, like, it's a, an okay BKB game for Myth Avenue, but it's not really a great BKB game. You're up against Global, uh, Duel, Rupture, Walrus Punch. Honestly, it's, it's it's actually a really bad BKB game. Toss back. No more from me! Death from above! Yeah, Monkey's doing a good job. He's got the Battle Fury done. Miracle trying to continue to farm. Does need to be a little bit careful because red spots out where he's hiding could cut down the trees. Yeah, it's going to be Miracle just dipping out before it gets a little bit too dicey. And that's the problem with playing against uh, Nature's Prophet. You've got that global lineup on your side. So wherever you're farming, you have to be extra careful this game. Dyer's top tower is under attack. But the axe is so cool. I miss the old, uh, the fact that it was a shard back in the day. Did it change? I never, like, it just got slightly stronger with it being an axe now, I assume. Because. Illusion! Dyer's courier. Has in this been game. Killed. Uh, who would be. Who would be your target to uh, normal punch? Would it just be the Bloodseeker or any other options? <laughs> Duels the illusion. Ouch. It's a big fat this? ouch. You just got your baited. What? <laughs> My monk's only got one dual victory in this game. Just not great for a mid uh, legion commander. They're 
Oh, both blink daggers from the supports coming in right there. And uh, Yamate gets the jump back to safety, but it does show exactly that uh, Spawn is in the vicinity looking for a fight. I'm actually curious why Myth Agonu gets hit by the arrow. It's a perfect catch. He tried to get the tossback play, but Miracle was out of range to get the tossback going. And it's actually going to be the dual victory for Spawn instead. That was a disastrous fight. They wanted to get the toss back, but it was too far away. Was a little bit of an oopsie daisy there from Myth Avenue Gaming, but it did force out the global at the very least. Not that they're really worried at the moment, they're just farming nicely. Uh, when this gets to late game, Monkey King can be a very deadly carry in this specific matchup, especially once you get Ags and stuff joining in. Uh, leveled to uh, the Wukong's command with the extra command ring, it's gonna AFK inside that area. That rider even becomes a Equally strong carry in the late game with the uh, sticky uh, flame break two charges and flame break applies two sticky napalm stacks. right there by the arrow Mamandaya can he stay alive does survive but a great wall placement with the vacuum coming in red is going to be burning to a crisp tries to go for the man fight but it is going to be a double kill coming through that wall was a vacuum wall was superb from zeal and the snowball from Dalil gets the blink to the side is he going to be able to disengage Radiance completely Miracle is trying to chase attack. but Dalil Yo, is too far away it will be a very advantageous fight there from Myth Avenue Gaming and that's because Zeal hit it right on the nose he's even getting himself that Ags almost secured on the darks here Silencer ulti gets used. Possibly. It's still a little bit scary. There's no wall, that's true. There's half a blink. See themselves dropping low. That is the scariest part of all. Oh no, he's gonna get hit by the arrow. Roach. He gets lassoed back, and Red is going to get smacked. Roche is almost going to kill him, but it's going to be the Bat Rider that needs to get the TP away. They do have vision, of course, of the Bat, but Dreamer Cell is going to get caught by Yamate. He gets tossed up and punched up, and they find themselves the kills needed into the Roche pit. Myth Avenue can go to secure and finish off Roshan in the meantime, because the Monkey King has respawned. Yeah, it's uh, only a 9 second cooldown on normal punch as well, so you can uh, use it as much as he likes. And that is Roshan secured from Myth Avenue Gaming, who put themselves uh, pretty far ahead with that last Rosh engagement. Uh, Mamangdaya is not really having the impact he would like on a mid Legion commander this time around. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack.
You have normal punch, which is the an the power of the anime on your side. Oh, Miracle's gonna get jumped in mid. Thank you. They kill him? Yes, they do, but that CA just popped. Yamate running in. Global Silence gets used, but they have BKBs. Miracle gets his full Wukongs off. Timbersel is dropping low. Red's gonna be the next target. Toss back play comes in. Double kill secured. And Zeal is just looking for blood. Travis gets the TP away, but with the illusion from the Legion Command, he's uh, gonna use that in the meantime to farm up as well as push out the top wave. It is looking like it's all coming all Myth Avenue Gaming with that extra triple kill for Miracle picked up. And yeah, they just used that first life as a bait. They wanted to go back in. That's the problem. Like, they got the kill onto Miracle, they got the dual victory and pop the Aegis, but then they, with that global silence, they wanted to go back in. But they have a BKB on the monkey, they have a BKB on the bat, right? They have Guardian Greaves on the darks here. Global is not as strong as they would like it to be. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Did almost get taken down. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. I can use a nice tool until they get BKB and then. It kind of sucks until the BKBs start uh, dwindling down to six seconds. I mean, it doesn't necessarily suck because you can still control up the supports. I mean, middle tower even with the shard, attack. when it was still a shard, Dark Seers could solo TBs. That was glorious, though. It was so good to see someone finally just punching TB and he kills himself. <laughs> Yeah, same with like uh, the Medusas every once in a while. Uh, they they go full damage build and then an illusion of the Medusa kills his entire own team. Whoops. I love Grimstroke Port Dark Portrait with 150% damage and you're like, Haha, it's magic immune, good luck. <laughs> uh I like the fact that there are some decent, Radiant like, applied counters to illusion-based heroes. Especially PL right now, that PL just doesn't get played as much, because as a support, More PL is, like, minutes. untouchable. Life news as well. The prize is mine! Zeal's almost Dyer's got his... Tower is under attack. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Yeah, but the most important thing is Miracle's got his Ags on the Monkey King. So, uh, yeah. They're gonna smoke Dyer's up, they're gonna immediately look for a fight. Because even if you get the, yourselves the control, you duel the Monkey King, those, uh... Monkey King uh, stone soldiers will be absolutely deadly. Primo Cell. Oh, Miracle doesn't have a shard yet. That's also a nice addition to the Monkey King, the new shard. I like that one. Lasso dragged a little back. Radiance middle tower. Is under a little. Attack. Oh no. Oh, no 
was a little bit of a mistake there. <laughs> Snowballing. Honestly, to the wrong direction. They even find themselves Travins on the side. Though the silencer doesn't matter too much at this point because he doesn't have global anyway. And there is the Monkey King army pushing the high ground. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's middle tower. Are they actually monkey fall. soldiers? I would have sworn they were stone soldiers. <laughs> Radiance top tower is under attack. Radiance top tower. I, I guess they ran out of ideas. To be fair, the best name would probably be Stone Remnants, but you know, <laughs> that's our spirit spell. <laughs> it's kind of like um, with uh, uh, Invoker, where his spell is called Ice Wall instead of Ice Path, or it's not a wall, but okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's a uh, naming convention. I see you've got shadow spells all over the place. Cool on to the bat rider, but he got the BKB down. Red's in trouble. He's gonna get smacked down by Yamate. Mamangai needs to disengage. Can they get out of there? Mamangai seems to be lucky, but I don't think the little is going to enjoy that. Fortunate point. They are getting crushed at this point, and yeah, the Bloodseeker Dream Assault just can't fight into this anymore. They're too farmed Radiant's on the opposing side. Are under attack. Okay. Radiance top tower is under attack. Radiance top tower is under attack. Radiance top tower. At this tower point, is uh, you're getting close to the area where Monkey King can just AFK and his monkey soldiers will do the heavy lifting anyway. Yeah, I also hate that really, really much. Ooh! RR has a great back. Bloodseeker Shard can do something, but he doesn't have Shard yet. Cool on to RR. Can they kill him off in time? the vacuum wall he gets the leaps back as well this is huge they're going in for the fight the myth avenue gaming side global science keeps him alive for a little bit longer but dream cell is going to get dragged back and taken down by miracle it's a one for one trade so far but yamate is playing really well the coach of the myth avenue gaming side has uh, some very impressive catches on the tiny radiance top tower is under attack Cast curse. <laughs> oh my god, Yamate, what did you do? Actually, oh, the punch coming in. Snowball save. Wukong's command. They're all uh, stuck inside. Can they get themselves out of there? A lot of damage being dealt, but it is going to be Yamate dying. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Miracle on the disengage. In the trees. Gets the jump away before the little gets the catch. He had the quelling blade at the ready. I'm so disappointed. Oh, right there. Expected. Uh, yeah, it's it's a bit of an issue because you can't also 
you can't really split Radiant push that easily tower, either against the bat rider because he's got octarine core now so his cooldown on his tp is well 30 seconds into the road but the miracle's going for roche to get the work on down. Missed the bomb on the strike, though. The wall's actually not even going to do that much. Zoom yourself needs to run away, but the ice shards block. Can he get away? Silent on the chase. Dream of Cell gets himself out of there. They pop back on the radiant side. Travis is going to get caught. They even lasso red, and that should be two kills. And next to the pit, probably can walk back in to finish off. Roshan, if they find... Oh, Mamung gets the TP. There's nothing more in that area, guys. Don't worry, you can get yourselves a free Roche. That's a nice uh, shard to be picked up. Probably gonna go to... Actually, I don't know. Could be for the Monkey King. Could also be for... The bat. Okay, shard for the monkey. Ah. And Bat Rider doesn't have the uh, Witch Blade. Otherwise, it would be a decent one for the bat as well. Oh, Miracle. The vacuum wall comes out. The is dropping low, and they will find a kill in return. back is gonna get the toss out of there and gets punched on the side red's getting killed off by his own illusion and it's gonna be rr with that finds it among daya is gonna be the one lassoed instead actually range coming in clutch is right there the finisher of the game really think that they can do anything at this stage anymore. Uh, it should be Myth Avenue Gaming. Yeah, and he, he gets called Myth Avenue Gaming. Secure the game. Laning stage was a pretty close affair, but everything changed once that broke went horribly sideways.